Sports on Boston's WB56. Yeah, I guess. Imagine living with that noise day and night. What would you do to make that barking stop? Well, almost anything. <laughs> we'll agree with that. That's why when a, a story was pitched to our newsroom promising to stop bad doggy behavior, well, we jumped all over it, and we knew just the dog <laughs> right there to put it to the test. That's right. Rudy at Bichon Frise has been barking up a storm for years, keeping our news director and her family awake, annoyed, and clearly unamused. <laughs> Stephanie Lydon shows us if bark busters can teach this old dog some new tricks. Rudy barks a lot. He barks when the kids run around the house. He barks when he hears noises outside. And he really barks when the doorbell rings. When the doorbell rings, it's crazy. Jumping, barking, it's basically uncontrollable. And the more people, the worse it gets. When it barks at me, it, it just it scares me. It scares me a lot. With two kids and a barking dog, Pam and Jim said they were willing to try just about anything to get some peace. When we heard that there was a company who said that they could make a dog stop barking, we talked about it and laughed and said, not our dog. Maybe they can make some dogs stop barking, but there's no way. We put Bark Busters to the test with its in-home dog training service, specializing in breaking bad habits. What got our attention? The company's lifetime guarantee. Here's Rudy before training. Typical Rudy behavior, lots of barking. In steps Bark Busters trainer, Vicki Lynch. She gives Rudy's owners a thorough lesson on dog behavior, then starts having them train Rudy. Great, even growlier. Ah. Okay, so you can escalate your tone depending on how serious you want to get. And at first it's going to sound a little funny, but you'll see it really works. Once Jim has Rudy's attention, the training can begin. That's fine. Stay. Stand up tall now. Stay. Go slowly. So they're off to a good start, but will it stick? We return to Rudy's house 10 days later. Come on in. Hi. Stay. Not bad, just one bark, and Rudy didn't jump on us at all. Pam and Jim say Rudy is not bark free, but he's come a long way. There is no magic bullet, there's no special potion, there's no fairy dust. The dog has come a long way. He's not barking nearly as much as he used to. He's a lot more obedient, but we've been working with him more than we ever have in nine years. Vicki says commitment and consistency is key. What really makes it work even better are committed owners like Jim and Pam working alongside of us, uh, and Rudy did a wonderful job, as did they. Nice and quiet. Oh, look how happy and quiet he looks. He, well, he just did a whole piece. He's tired. Stephanie tells us that one month later now, Rudy's not completely bark-free, but... He's not causing chaos like he used to. For more information on this story, log on to BarkBusters.com. And our news director's getting more sleep. She's getting a little more sleep.